welcome back sorry about that guys we have moved our whole production outside where amazingly enough there's much better bandwidth and um there just was not good enough bandwidth to um uh, to uh actually stream so hopefully thank you so much Sorry for that. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. So, here we go. I'm just going to sit this <laughs> down here and I will read chat from behind. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> so, here we go. This is really funny. So, I think we're going to need to invest in a repeater if uh if i'm gonna keep doing demos because school just started back up so i'm guessing i don't know nothing else has changed in the studio so i don't know car says is the internet cooperating no it and is then car not. says thank goodness for decent weather then <laughs> oh you found us again cars awesome and where's otter i heard him I think he's running around in the in the tree over there. Here's Jinkling. The we're, <laughs> we're outside. The dogs are getting a little bit of uh, run around time. It's funny they have access to the yard whenever they want, but it's just never as good as uh, when there's people out. So it looks to me like both feet kind of stop at the same point, and the legs are not very long. Let's, uh, it's definitely not a skinny chicken here, but uh, isn't she pretty? <laughs> I love these chickens coloring and they started off um, a lot darker with more, more spots and uh, so I'm kind of curious to find out what they end up like. So this little walking gesture is so cute. And so I want to make sure, I think what's happening here is there's a foot. Yeah. Car says she's just fluffy. <laughs> she's just fluffy. She might be. She probably weighs half a pound. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, they, a couple of the photos, they were really puffed up. But um, also, yes, for this one, the um, image is on jessierashi.com um, slash art hyphen classes or art yeah. hyphen classes hyphen online. Or if you just go to jessierashi.com, click menu and click learn to paint, uh, it'll be the first image you can see. Here it is. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. Do you want to set that right here? Um, um, sure. Yeah, it. okay. Um, here it is. Cool. Thank you. Uh, we are so full of gadgets right here. I'm gonna... How's that? Is that okay? Uh, I bit? can see chat. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. How about now? I can see chat. <laughs> So, here we go. I love this kind of U shape, and especially around here, there's a lot of fluff. And then this part of the body seems a little bit more structural, and it's up a lot higher. So last week we went to the state park out here, Oakwood Lake State Park, which is really pretty. And I got some fun photos of a frog. So um, I was thinking that would be another really fun little, little thing to draw one of these days. They've got great structure. They're so bendy. 
and uh, and leggy, and um, I, know, I just think that'd be really fun. just map out how much higher the head is than the tail feathers here. Kind of business. And then I'm just kind of mapping out where the shadows are. Is it working? Um, yeah, hey, hey Ma, yeah. is it okay if I um, unplug your device? If it, yeah, that baby. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Alright, what thing do I want to do? Yeah. Hi, Otter. Hi, Otter. <laughs> so, I'm marking in the areas that are darker. Hi, girls are. we go. I'm going to double check how I got my lines here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Otter. So I just keep measuring against the rest of the chicken. You know, how, what angle is the top of this compared to that? And these angles compared to each other and then this area is really fluffy so I think some just little uh, soft lines here will indicate that nicely and uh, I get the feeling she's uh, she's just gonna end up being a super fluffy adult chicken uh, they were they were fluffy as babies but sort of a different fluffy okay and <laughs> it's interesting the bottom of the dark part on the neck it looks so much like um, like the little drawings of turkeys that uh, that we all did when we were young, the um, sort of bubbly bottom to the neck. Did you do any projects like that in school? Maybe I don't know. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe that's an old-fashioned thing. Some of that in there a little bubbly feather ends there and then this part up here is extra dark so I'm gonna add on another layer of passion right there and so I'm kind of doing the same thing I did with the eyeball where I'm finding the areas that are darker and um, and just adding a little bit of hashing to uh, to make them a little bit darker. And, and this time I've been kind of willy nilly about which way I'm making my hash marks. And then she has this little teeny head at the top. And, <laughs> Otter, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's whining at something on the other side of the fence. Uh, yeah, it's funny. It does not matter how much space there is. It's always interesting, whatever's on the other side of the fence. I feel like there's a, a moral tell there, but I don't really know uh, what it is. Uh, okay. So... There we go. 
just kind of marking in the general vicinity of the dark areas. Try not to get too detailed about it, but just to get the general proportions. Oh, is that? Cool, perfect. Thank y'all. There we go. Okay, so let me know if you're also drawing the chicken and how it's coming out. I do not know if they have names. I think it's... I would have named them by now for sure. I don't know if that's just human nature. Maybe it's very likely that she has a name. I should ask. I don't know if chicken people <laughs> um, name their chickens. So the beak underneath is darker, and um, I wasn't able to see that when we were zoomed out. So there we go. So now I'm zoomed in a little bit more and um, just this really lovely big eye. I love this. I feel like she's going to show up in a painting very soon. <laughs> and uh, like I said, you are welcome to use this source photo for painting or any of that kind of stuff if you think it would be useful. And so there's a little bit of light coming around underneath her chin that um, was making her neck look much more narrow. And, uh, and then with her coloring, her head is white, and then um, and then her neck gets darker and darker as it goes down. It's really pretty. Yeah. Try to capture a little bit of that. So let me know what you think about this. Uh, outside business if uh, if you can still see okay if it's better than the studio or if it's uh, weird um my movie so <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Awesome. Excellent connection. Awesome. Gosh, maybe we'll have to. Okay. Yeah, I love her face. Like the more I look at it, the more interesting it gets. I think she would be a wonderful model for a painting or two. Um, so I'm still trying to differentiate light from dark and then just going in and adding a little bit more differentiation. Um, medium to uh, really dark and you know really to draw a chicken you just need that crescent shape and a, a beak and everything else is just kind of extra uh, everything else is just like adding more detail here so 
this area, you can really see her form. And so there's a white highlight. So even though she's uh, white in some of these areas, I'm just, it's sort of this mottled white and gray, super pretty, but um, I am giving her a little bit of a gray shadow so that I can come in and uh, give her a couple highlights. Paul says the white is pretty nice out there. Awesome! Good, 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 good. And I, I don't think you really need to outline stuff all the way around and, and uh, you know, make the outline um, even or that sort of thing. That is very much a style type, type thing. So some people do that and it's wonderful. Um, some people do the opposite and make it wonderful, and um, and I'm sort of in between. I think some areas of a clean outline can be really nice, um, but I like to have a variety. So I'm just getting a little darker here. Since the neck and the tail feathers are really and the eyeball are really the darkest areas here, so. Um, you know, as I darken other areas, I'm remembering to darken these parts. And... And a little bit of the patterning of this tail area. <laughs> There's lots of sounds. I'm not sure if they're coming through. There's construction going on right down the road. Uh, we've been working on it nonstop for, I don't know, I think almost a year now. Different houses, and then they changed up the road, and I think they're putting in a couple hundred houses. It's it's wild. It's so much. But uh, also, there's a little private airport um, not too far, so you can um, you can hear planes flying around every once in a while. It's like little two-person planes. Okay, so there's this really dark area right here. I'm just going to put that in, see if I like it or not, and uh, see if it helps with the understanding or hurts it, and uh, you know how I feel about that. And for this, let me go off. And then she has these wonderful feet. Oh my goodness, look at that. So many feathers. And a little bit darker area right down the middle, which I think kind of helps with the understanding the form a little bit. And I'll go this way. Okay, so this foot, now that I'm looking at it up close, it's. It looks like all feathers. It does. <laughs> wow, that's quite a stance. 
That's interesting. That's like a powerful stance right there. Okay, so I'm just going to draw right over this since this is all messy and full of feathers. And it comes down and then there's all these feathers. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Oh, uh, Car says she's got places to go. <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Let's see. There's something really wonderful about this. The way she's standing here. And so I'm just going to kind of lean back and make sure that I'm capturing whatever is kind of wonderful about that. Oh, it's sort of on its way. So, yeah. So let me know if you're drawing this chicken today also. I'll check. He keeps telling me I should uh, restart, and then when I schedule the restart, it doesn't do it then. I think it's, uh, it's teasing me. All right, you're so nice. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> Car says, I'm drawing along. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should just uh, turn up the volume over here. No, nah, I'll just watch it for a minute. <laughs> uh, it's email. Oh, you are welcome to turn off my volume. Oh, thank you. Really interesting marking right here. That might be one of the areas that gives up that uh, how much fluff there is here. <laughs> so she's very speckled. And I could see how we could do it. A really huge drawing and get super realistic and uh, draw all of her little speckles. I'm just going to hint at some of these um, gray lines. She looks like her, her texture looks like marble or something. It's so pretty. Just using the direction of my lines to try to find, um, to try to describe some of this patterning. And <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the little two seaters that uh, you know, flies around during the day. They just seem to go out and fly all around town and then go back. It's pretty funny. Pretty nice. Do you want to go fly something? No, no, I'm just saying. It, um, okay. Fly. My granddad used to take me flying when I was about your age. Doing some uh, marks 
method to crisscross this way to just show that patterning on our neck. And okay, so I think just getting a base value behind, I'm going to try it out. Uh, you do not need to get a base value if that does not sound fun to you. Um, here, I'm trying to decide how big to go. I think I'm just going to fill in about this much area so I can erase around her edges and have her really stand out. So if there's anything about the chicken that you'd like to see uh, how I would tackle it, um, just let me know. And um, I think that's really fun. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing uh, what I do here. So I'm trying to scribble this in in a way that's um, not too distracting and a little bit uniform to start with. Okay, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> I'm going to erase some of these little edges. And see if we can get some light shining through her feathers here. And now it's cold. <laughs> and now it's cold. <laughs> I would not blame you if you wanted to escape. No, no, no. I'm here. <laughs> Oh, I, I, so, I love it. You know, you're welcome to give people your pitch if you want. Like, hey, go check out my channel or something. You are welcome to. I'm just saying. You don't have to. Look, it goes in and out. That's not good. <laughs> you're super sweet. Um, I can use it. So Dozer's okay. just been napping right by my feet this whole time, and Otter has been running around underneath the trees trying to see if he can find any animals. Yeah. I haven't quite figured out why he eats <laughs> the stuff he does. Also, um, make sure if our audio, if or if the um. If the quality of the um, stream goes down, make sure to tell us. Yes. Because I don't have, like, I can look at it, but... Um, yeah, we don't know what it sounds like. Yeah. That is true. Seems to be good, though, so that's nice. Yeah, so... So, yeah. Hey, Joseph? Yeah, I appreciate Hi. when you... um. Let me know Hi, if the Papa? when something is going strangely. It really helps us out. Hi. Hi. So. Oh. <laughs> so I like how it just kind of fades into the background here. I think that's kind of fun. I'm gonna try not to re-outline it. This card says the sound is clear today. Yay. Thank you, guys. So I'm trying to not re-outline it, but just to um, differentiate the chicken from the background a little bit. Um, but trying to control my tone so that um, it blends into 
the background value the um the outline that I'm making because I don't want the outline to be the focus uh, for this area right here and um, that's just because I want that how the highlight to really jump out. Um, Okay, so I'm going to use this as a blending tool and uh, so with the eraser if you hold it at just such an angle and you're not pushing down hard enough to um, erase it turns into sort of a smudging stick. So I might put my lines back in there so it looks um, more uh, sketchy, Desert. more organic Desert. a little bit. Desert. But uh, <laughs> hi, you wanted through. That's it. Uh oh, his foot. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't noticed, Dozer is practically blind and so we have a lot of um you can find food though <laughs> i can food anywhere yeah for sure um I do. <laughs> it's okay. but uh so a lot of times he takes extra encouragement to you know step over something Yeah, the other day I opened the door to get to the studio, and before I could slide the screen door, Otter plowed into the screen. And if it would have been Dozer, Otter would have noticed that and waited, but Dozer couldn't see it. So as I started sliding the screen, Dozer plowed into it too. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Neither of them were injured or anything. It just. Like, yep, well, visually impaired. Um, so. so, I don't know if you can see, there's still a gray undertone here, but it's a little bit more varied. So I like this edge on top. There's um, there's a couple of really distinct values here, and so we've got the edge of the chicken, which is white, and the edge of the shadow, which is this real light gray, down below. Just kind of lightly adding this light gray tone. And then there's the value. There we go. So this part is really interesting. There's this sort of white area right above, and then the black feathers right below it. So there's a little bit of a white um, surround 
right around this area. And then somewhere in this area, I'm going to get it to be as dark as possible. And I'm pressing hard enough to dent the paper right now, but I feel pretty confident that this whole area went very dark, so I'm not worried about that. And Yeah, and we have exciting birds out here too. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounded like an eagle or something, but I'm not, not sure. We do have a giant hawk in the neighborhood that the neighbors have been keeping track of. Uh, and people with cats are keeping their cats inside. It's really pretty. Just kind of creeping up on where these edges are and trying to put in as many landmarks that really make sense to me very very lightly um, and this leg so fun oh my gosh yeah that bird sounds like it could carry us away It flew over our house a little while ago and it just felt like the whole house went in shadow. I think it was, you know, an exaggeration of the eyes or something, but it's, uh, that is a substantial bird up there. It's uh, making noise. Okay, so here we go. So I've got two, one side that I'm using for blending here and it's, it's turning black. Um, and the other side I'm using for erasing and uh, yeah I want this area right here to be clean so I'm, I'm using this edge way over here clean my eraser before I go in and smudge things because uh, now I'm actually t trying to get down to the white of the paper. So try to give this chicken a little bit of a glow. the shadow area to be a little bit bigger in here and softer. And then there we go. Okay, and then with this foot I'm going to put the glow right back here. And blend this part a little bit. There's some ambiguity here that I think is really pretty. And I think sometimes, uh, sometimes giving the ambiguity its space, it makes a drawing feel more realistic, I think. Um, and I 
And also I think it's just kind of fun to say, I don't really know what's happening there and that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw, draw the part I can see and uh, let the rest be ambiguous. So I'm trying to join this outline I put behind her back here, the back side. Um, trying to join the outline into the background. Um, maybe add a little bit more variety to the landscape. Too. I'm going to darken this up. And so I'm squinting at the photograph to see if the background is darker or lighter than the bird's chest. And so I'm making it a little bit darker than her chest. Um, and I think that'll help her still be this light gray bird that's in shadow right here. Um, let's see. <laughs> so outside this picture there are some trees that are casting shadows right across and then she's inside of her chicken run which is super lovely and um, she's in the shadow of um, of the supports of the chicken run, I think. And so did you attempt to draw more than one chicken or are you sticking with this uh, brave chicken in front like I did? And so let me get this highlight on her forehead. And let's see. And the highlight on the back. I want that to have a little bit more of a glow. So I'm going to erase my outlines here. <laughs> Soften the inside edge. Okay. okay. And now I'm going to use the other side to just kind of smudge in the chicken uh, where I'm not happy about the lines. I think I want it to be a little bit more subtle. It's kind of a different style today, a little bit more um, uh, softened up, I guess. So I'm just going to go with that. So. 
I says, I stuck with it. I stuck with chicken, the brave. But I like the nervous chicken speaking in. It might add just their little faces on the end of the page. I love it. I love it. You chicken the brave. Yeah. 2021 20, blockbuster. <laughs> uh. you, you know, I find it there. There we go. Yeah. I love it. Uh. Yeah, go see those little guys over there. Over there. <laughs> okay, so she has um, a little bit of shadow suggesting the form uh i don't know what you call this part of the chicken <laughs> maybe her butt or like right above her legs here um that it's kind of rounded like this and then this part goes in and you're eating tomatoes <laughs> I'll go look for otter. Thanks. I, he's probably just looking at a frog, huh? Something. So, I'm going to just put in a little bit of shadow. Let's see, right in this area. Well, right here has a nice little shadow. Is he just wanting something? He's not stuck through the fence, but he's not stuck, and he's just looking at a plant. Oh, boy. I don't know which plant. He's looking at a plant. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. Um, lately, he's been extra kind of snuggly, and then, I don't know, Caden, if you've seen this, but there have been a couple times when he comes out his dog door, and then he barks for somebody to let him in at this door and I, I thought he was stuck or something so I came down from the studio to let him in and it's like what are you doing <laughs> your door is open <laughs> have you seen uh Carson Stead Skunk I have not Car says I don't know what the difference is exactly but your drawing today looks somehow like a study with a painting in mind oh interesting well that that's very interesting because they I um uh, I am being a little different in that I'm kind of um, blending a lot more this time. And uh, uh, I wonder if that's what it is, but I have been kind of thinking about how lovely she would be in paint as I'm going along. <laughs> Maybe that's kind of coming out. It's funny. How is your chicken going? Are you are you liking your your chicken drawing so far? And uh, do you mind when I ask that? Uh, some people like that question. Some people do not. So I'm still just trying to get a little bit of that glow of her. She has such kind of. I don't know. I'm not that familiar with different chickens, but she just looks really unique to me in her coloring here. And so I had um, blended out a lot of the texture in the background and then I put it back in. I think there's probably a frog on the other side who wants to chase around. <laughs> I'm not worried about him though. If we um we protect the frogs around the house, <laughs> so, uh, in case you're worried about the frogs. Um, but, uh, Otter is 
still, um, you know, if he can see him through the fence, he does exactly what you're hearing. Um, and yeah, I'm toning down this highlight a little bit so it's still there, but um, less apparent. And smaller. Otter seems. Otter seems to be very excited. Yeah, I think there's like a frog or something. There, there are a couple frogs that live in that bush on the other side. Tara says, "I don't mind the question, but I've never, but I never have a confident answer." <laughs> Fair it's enough. Going. I can tell I haven't drawn a duck today. So <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh... One second. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of a shadow here and some of the, uh, you know, the texture of the lines is starting to come through, like this, this feeling like the top layer. And let's see, one second. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, and I am in chair. <laughs> so I lost a little bit of the stance, but I'm kind of happy about something in the middle here. The the kind of the softness of the texture that was right above us, wasn't it? Can you see it? <laughs> oh my weird. gosh. Yeah. Wow. It'd be funny if that was just a teeny tiny little bird. It doesn't have <laughs> Wow. And Okay, so this area right here is a little darker. And bring the shadow up a little bit. Just getting more and more and more specific. And um, and then there might be some heavy lines at the end here. Um, anything exciting? No. <laughs> Okay, so still kind of bother me. I want it to be light and glowy, but I feel like it's it's not having that effect because of the the way I did the background. There we go, a little better. And 
Okay, and so if you are also using pencil and you have drawings that you really want to keep, you don't want them to rub off. I think I've I've mentioned this before, but it was a long time ago. There's um, spray fixative you can get that will, um, you know, it's made especially to um, make your drawing not rub off. And there's workable fixative that you can spray and then you can keep drawing on top, but you can't erase so much. Um, and if you don't feel like going out and getting special art projects pr products, we used to use hairspray, um, like in the little pump bottle, or uh, or you know the old aerosol ones uh, in art school, and those worked really well. But uh, you have to be careful, especially with the pump ones, that uh, when you get them started, they'll put big blobs in your paper and that will discolor it so you have to do a test on newspaper or something else some piece of paper you're not trying to keep uh, before you actually spray your drawing is uh, that's disappointing to spray your drawing and then have <laughs> big clumps all over it um, And you might want to, I don't know if they've changed the makeup of hairspray since then. Oop. So you might want to test it on a little scribble. Uh, something that you that you don't want to keep before you actually spray it on your masterpieces. Well, I think, I think she is done. <gasps> says that sounds a lot like a J, but actually voices. Oh, good. That's nice. I would love it if we had a J here. That would be very nice. We we have had a couple different colored J's in the yard in the mornings that um, we have to see them through the window. But um, yeah, right now I can't see any birds they're kind of like hiding in the middle of the trees so yeah well good for them jays with their big voices i love it okay i am um, just darkening up the background i i feel like i'm kind of done with the chicken uh, thank you. Just a little teeny drawing here. It's funny with drawing and with painting, <laughs> you know, sometimes you can have a huge drawing that took five or ten minutes or you know, 48 hours. And the same thing can be true with a little teeny drawing. Um, and I learned how to draw fast first. I mean, on my own, I drew at whatever pace I felt like, but in art school, um, you know, we learned how to draw fast. And so it wasn't until I took a, a life drawing class with a classical, um, portrait artist that I gave myself permission to really slow down and spend many, many, many hours on one drawing. And um, it was interesting. It was, it was kind of strangely freeing. And just interesting that, um, you know, depending on what school you go to, or who you train with, um, the focus can be so completely different of, um, you know, what speed you're doing things at and, uh, and really what the goals are.
trying to rotate my pencil so I get the width of pencil mark that I want. Okay. These little feathers. There. There we go. A little bit more. Okay. <laughs> So, I had a rack. Excuse me. Um, oh, there we go. So, here's how my chicken turned out. Um, I love it when you show me how your drawings turn out. Thanks so much for, um, for tagging me recently. I love it. And, uh, and if you are on my newsletter, you'll get an announcement in the next couple days about my next art giveaway. And, um, and that'll be a lot of fun. And I'll make sure there's a way to enter if you're not on Facebook. So, um, so I want all my newsletter subscribers to be able to enter if they want to. Um, and uh, please like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell if you want to get announcements. And uh, check out my website if you want to find out more about me and the art and portraits I do. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Car says that turned out lovely. Awesome. Thank you, cars, and um, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for for tagging me and um, and thanks for joining and chatting. I love it. <laughs>